I know you all hate online dating. Everybody does, and yet we have to do it. But let's talk about what you really hate about it. I think what we really hate is getting our hopes up. What we really hate is that we start to chat with somebody and we think we can build something. We think we've got something going. And then either they dissipate, fall by the wayside, or we don't hear from them again, or, you know, and we had that little moment of hope and our hope ran forward. And that's why we're there. That's why we're online. And even worse is if somebody talks to us and they think we're fascinating and they like us and they say things that we want to hear. And then we kind of think, oh my God, this is a little too good to be true. They look a little too attractive. Maybe I'm in trouble here, but then we don't want to believe it because we really want to believe that we found something. So we walk a tightrope between hope and logic, between having filters that really can keep the wrong people out and yet trying to stay, <laughs> how should I say, I'm like trying to keep our cynicism at bay so that somebody could come forward. So this is the very tricky transit that we travel in online dating. And anecdotally, this is just anecdotally, between my clients, colleagues, and friends that are online, the estimate this year, how many scammers are online? 50%. I'm asking everyone to tell me, as you've been cruising online, what do you think? And they'll say, clearly 50. So here's the message. I know you know you need to be resilient. I know you know that you need to keep trying different portals and that online dating is very effective. Okay, it's true. But here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Have your filters set up. And I mean your personal filter. Do they want what you want? Do they state it in their profile? Are you able to say what you want when you speak to them? Stay on the app until you know more about them. Don't go giving them your number or get off on some other messenger service where it's encrypted and they can do whatever because they want to get you off the dating apps. And just focus on, are they consistent? Do they seem like they're meeting my needs? Do they seem like we're in the same place? Are we able to communicate? I know you all get hung up on this. Oh, but I felt such a connection. I felt a connection. Well, an attractive person that finds you attractive, what's not to feel connected about? But feeling the connection and pre-qualifying them are two entirely different things. So have a sense of filtration. It's not like Instagram, okay? It's not like you're getting YouTube or TikTok and it's all about the numbers. Don't be the person that all you want is numbers. You don't want hundreds of people coming in or dozens of people coming in. You want the right person to come in. And that means that you start with the right information, you're asking the right questions, and you're staying alert and attentive to what is real and true and honest and seems correct. Consistency, forthrightness, people in your community, within the area that can see you in the next 10 days to two weeks, that kind of stuff. I hope this helps you set up your filters. All we're doing is saving ourselves agony on the backside. You're saving yourself two to three months of hope and then wondering what you think you did wrong. Well, meanwhile, you had somebody that never intended to follow through. If you need a consultation on this or you want me to help you decipher it, go to susanwinter.net. Thanks, everyone.